nation in the dark depths of war and blight, a president's gaze pierces the shadowy night. And whosoever in his day would have thought this frontier rail splitter such salvation could have brought. But as a youth he knew something special stirred inside, so in his copy book to himself he did confide, Abraham Lincoln, his hand and pen, he will be good, but God knows when. Determined to persevere, but humble in his fate, for he was destined not just to be good, but great. Through his steadying hand and masterful pen, one day he would become a giant among men. With the father of the nation standing behind, he summoned the best angels of his mind. Candlelight bathed his head, heart, and hand. He dipped the quill and let his spirit take command. And what came forth was of such magnificence, no prose or verse could compare it to its eloquence. For this was more than the mending of a broken nation, but rather no less than democracy's own preservation. An experiment set forth by enlightened founders of bold vision, now stood trial before the world for the promise of its own ambition. Humbly the sage attested no words could further consecrate what soldiers' blood at Gettysburg had come to mandate. That a union would be preserved in an ideal given rebirth, that such an institution shall not perish from this earth. Shall not perish from this earth. Shall not perish from this earth. Thank you.